this is my prayer wall behind me and there are so many different stories here of hope and of God's healing hand and how he's truly touched their lives. Jen would just love for you to send in your pictures mm -hmm. of any family members or maybe yourself. You have a yeah. sickness or cancer or a disability. Jen loves to pray over people. And so we'd love yeah. to add you to our prayer wall. Mm -hmm. And uh, there you can just send it to our post mm -hmm. office box at Hope Out Loud. And we would love to pray over mm -hmm. you every day. And Jen, today as we read God's Word again, I was just wondering, what, why do you love God's Word so much? I love God's Word because it is so alive and just so encouraging. It's God's love letter to us as Christians, and I just can't get enough of it. it just it just helps me experience God in a whole new way and in a whole new level. We've seen with our <laughs> own eyes how God's Word has helped to heal Jen with yeah. her brain injury. Yeah. And there were many days when she couldn't get out of bed. <laughs> and so we would quote God's Word just to get mm -hmm. out of bed or she had anxiety and we would have to quote God's Word just to walk in a room full of people. Yes. And so we literally see with our eyes how God's Word has the power to heal. And God's yeah. Word can heal you yeah. too, spiritually and emotionally. <laughs> and even physically. And Jen, there is a verse right by your bed that you quote out loud every day. Oh yes, it's Jeremiah 17, 14. And it says, heal me, O Lord, and I will be healed. For you are the one that I praise. I love that. Me too. Today, Jen, we are looking at Philippians 3, mm -hmm. verses 12 through 31. And there's a scripture here that you love. And Paul is saying that he's not perfect, but he's pressing on. Mm -hmm. And in verse 13 and 14, he says, Brothers and sisters, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it. But one thing I do, mm -hmm. forgetting what is behind and straining toward what is ahead, to win the prize. I love that. Yes. So he says, yes. I press on yes. toward the goal to, to win, win the, the prize. prize. And you know, when we think of a goal, often we're thinking of, um, I don't know, I'm thinking of a race, like we're running mm. to that finish line yeah. and we're trying to get uh, to, to the finish line. And uh, there's a story about, um, it was a Special Olympics mm. and there were all these children that were in a race and oh, yeah. um, the crowd is yelling and cheering. And I think there were 10 kids and mm. the one little boy with Down syndrome, he fell uh, mm. just a few feet away from the finish line. And as the crowd is gasping um, those other nine little kids that were disabled they stopped and they turned around and they went back and they picked up that little boy who had fallen and they held hands together wow. and they all crossed the finish line together and you know Jen that's what that's what life is supposed mm -hmm. to be about. Not us just trying to do it on our own, but to grab, you know, God made us for relationship. Mm -hmm. We need friends to hold our hand and to help us uh, to win the prize, to get to that finish line. And so we're not supposed to do it alone. Mm -hmm. I love that story. And I just yeah. encourage you to... Um, Grab hands with a friend. Let okay. them know when you're struggling and, yeah. and that you need help, and they want to help help you along the way, and you can let us know as mm -hmm. well. And then further in this passage, Jen, um, mm -hmm. Paul talks about in Philippians 3, verses 20 and 21, mm -hmm. that our citizenship is in heaven, wow. that really this world is not our home. Our home is in heaven someday, where there are no more pain, no more tears, <laughs> no more suffering. And I just was thinking, Jen, you're going to have a new brain, you know, what does that make you think? Wow. It's unbelievable. I can't even put it into words. Like, I think everything from this life will be passed away. We'll be a new person. We'll have a new body. I can't wait. I know. And I was thinking of all the kids that are behind us on this prayer mm -hmm. wall. So many not able to walk yeah. in wheelchairs. Uh, we've seen God answer prayer mm -hmm. where some are walking that couldn't and some people who had cancer are healed. Yeah. But there are some that still, still struggle every day. And in heaven, when we cross that finish line, we're going to be with Jesus forever where there is no more pain and no more suffering. Yes. And I can't wait until that day. And you know, uh, as you're commenting today, we would just love to hear from you. Mm -hmm. Maybe just one truth that God spoke to your heart today. <laughs> one thing, one takeaway that that he spoke to your mm -hmm. heart from this passage um, and maybe what you're excited about when yeah. you get to heaven. Uh, Jen, I know you love that song. I can only imagine. Oh, yes. Yeah. I love the song by, um, it says, I can only imagine what it will be like when I walk by your side. 
I can only imagine what my eyes will see when your face is before me. And you know, um, I think of when Jen gets to heaven and when you get to heaven, Jesus is going to look at us and say, my daughter, your faith has healed you. Mm -hmm.